A year ago in September, TU safety Christian Williams had it going. He had just played his best game in a Golden Hurricane uniform, getting 11 tackles against Texas in his home state in front of his family and friends. Five days later, it seemed his football world had crashed down upon him. Uh, Coach Money broke me the news and told me that the uh, doctors uh, said they found a cyst in my spine. So, you know, right then and there, I mean, Coach Money shed tears, I shed tears, and from there it was like, I just got to get my body healthy and I just got to do what's best for me to keep going forward in life. A cyst on his spinal cord, apparently there since birth, had seemingly ended his football career. It was definitely a turnaround, like a quick turnaround. You know, I had to switch from football and start thinking about, well, you know, what can I do with my degree, you know, to move forward in life and provide for my family and, you know, you know, just make sure that I stay healthy and stay positive about the whole situation. With the shock of a premature ending of his football career still on his mind, Christian was given a lifeline by head coach Philip Montgomery, given a chance to coach the team last year. And coach even gave him the gold standard of whistles, the Fox 40. Uh, the Fox 40 whistle was de definitely the best thing that ever happened to me after that, after you told me I wasn't playing anymore, you know. So it was... It was tough, you know, the first couple of weeks was tough and uh, my teammates made sure that I stayed positive about this whole situation and, and they made sure that I was a part of the family still. So I never felt like I was not, you know, I was alone. And so Williams worked with the TU secondary the rest of the season, continuing to bond with his teammates. But then in January, word came that there might be a surgeon who could safely extract the cyst. We got it with Dr. Boone and his staff and uh, we all discussed it out and, you know, Coach Money, they all, they, we flew out to Dallas and we had a couple more MRIs and we talked with the doctor and from there it was, let's get this surgery as fast as we could so I can get back healthy. The surgery was successful and a few weeks later, Christian became convinced that he was coming back to play football. Uh, that moment happened probably soon as summer started and I got back under that bar, the weight room bar, and uh, I didn't have any complications when I did it and, you know, I was back to running full speed. And from there, it was like, okay, I'm back. Like, I'm, I'm about to be back playing football. And that, was, that gave me a lot of joy. Running through drills was one thing, but what about that first big hit? Yeah, I was kind of nervous about my first hit. It happened, I want to say, like the second practice we got in uh, helmets. Uh, the first time I actually went contact to contact with somebody, I was kind of nervous, honestly. But at that moment, I was like, okay. I got it out of the way, now I'm going, like now I'm going, it gets me going now, you know. It took some time, but Williams is back at his old safety spot, and coming into the Navy game, he was sixth on the team in tackles. Pretty good for someone who thought he would never play again. Oh, and that coaching stint? Well, it may be in Christian's future, but for now, he uses his coaching experience as a big plus in his second chance to play the game he loves. Oh, it slowed down my game a lot. It slowed down my game a lot. It made me know where everybody fits. It made me know, know a lot more about my teammates and a lot more about who like who plays what and how the chemistry works out with everybody, you know. So it, it, slowed, it slowed down the game a lot for me. We'll be back with more on the Philip Montgomery Show in a moment.